Benny, you want your treat? Sit. Okay. Super boy. Hey, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. It's currently Monday morning. It's almost 10 o'clock. I got up around 6.30 to go to a 7.30 yoga class on the pier, as you saw from those few clips. I finally went and I did the yoga. If you guys saw a few vlogs ago, I had signed up for the class and then I didn't have the right kind of yoga mat and I panicked and I didn't end up going. Uh, but yeah, I got myself a proper yoga mat at Walmart and I went into the class with my friend Haley. It was nice being at the beach that early in the morning. It was very peaceful, like listening to the sound of the waves and there weren't really any people out yet, but I am just not a morning person naturally. I never have been. I felt good when I woke up this morning, but I am crashing already and it's not even 10 yet. So, but yeah, if you guys live in the Wilmington, North Carolina area, we did at Wrightsville Beach. So if you download the Mind Body app and then just look up Yoga Salt Wilmington, it'll come up. Um, they do those morning classes on the pier Monday, Wednesday, Friday. After yoga, we stopped at Drift. I got an iced latte and a breakfast sandwich and now I'm having my second coffee of the day because that just didn't really do it for me. But today I have a full packed schedule. First, I have an appointment to go get my nails done and then I'm going to the salon where I work and we are doing content day. We're just getting a bunch of photos and videos and Instagram reels for the salon's website and social media. Um, and our own personal social medias as well. So I'm gonna head straight there after my nail appointment, but before I leave for that, I need to shower, do my hair, put on makeup, you know, get myself photo shoot ready, and then I'm gonna come home. I have a video that I need to edit and post, and depending on how I feel later, I might end up going to the gym. We'll see how long I end up being at the salon for and how I feel by then. That's what's on the agenda for today. I'm gonna drink this coffee and then hop in the shower and get ready. I'm definitely feeling a lot better after that second coffee. And I'm hoping when I am at the salon and around a bunch of people, it'll keep my energy up and I won't crash again. But I am gonna let my hair air dry because the last time we took pictures, for the salon's pages, I had my hair blown out and I don't know, I just wanna have my natural curls in these pictures, have a little variety. And I think it'll be good too because I think clients who have curly hair, when they see a stylist that also has curly hair, they kinda like gravitate towards that. So it's like, oh, we have a similar hair type. So I know you know how to work with my hair. So I put some of the Olaplex number no. six leave-in cream to add some hydration. Now I'm gonna take the IGK Rich Kid air dry styler. It's just like a curl defining cream. I'm gonna take like that much. If you use a lot of that stuff, it can kind of make your hair a little crunchy, which I'm not really a huge fan of. I prefer softer, slightly frizzy curls. And then I like to flip my hair upside down and give it a good scrunch from the bottom. I still have to do my makeup and then, like I said, I'm going to get my nails done before I go to the salon. So that's plenty of time for my hair to air dry. So I'm just gonna let it be. Um, but if I needed it to be dry faster, I would diffuse it. I'm gonna go put on some makeup real quick. I'll be right back. ready let me show you my outfit she wants us to bring a couple outfits some like spring colorful outfits and then one all neutrals so outfit number one lee overalls i got these a really long time ago on clearance from urban outfitters i think but I was just in Walmart recently and saw ones that looked very, very similar to these. So 
go check Walmart if you're looking for some overalls. And they literally were the same Lee brand. And then this crop top is from American Eagle. And then I'm gonna wear these little heels. And then I'm also going to bring this dress from Shein. It's floral, very cute, very flattering. That will be one option. And then I'm also bringing this cropped denim jacket from Zara that I could throw over the dress. And then I'm also gonna bring this skirt from Target and this nude bodysuit tucked in like that. And again, I could throw a denim jacket on top of this too. And then I'm bringing my white cowboy boots to wear with those two other options. My boss just texted everybody in our salon group chat and said that she has wine and rosé and she's getting Chick-fil-A for all of us and she set up the basement for us to like change and hang out down there. So I'm excited. It should be a really fun afternoon. I will try to get some behind the scenes clips. Oh, and here is the before of my nails. I think I'm gonna go for either like a yellow or an orange and I'm gonna cut them down quite a bit because they are getting crazy long. It's 7.39 right now. Look at this one. Oh. Eh. oh, yeah, there you go. I was gonna say, the camera is not quite picking it up. I feel like in person, when I look up close in the mirror, I'm like, wow, my under eyes look so creasy. But it was a really fun day. We got lots and lots of content, tons of reels and some of them are just so funny. So make sure you're following my hair page, Styled by Sam Vey. I'll be posting those over the next couple of weeks or so. None of my close friends are really into social media the same way I am. So I don't know, I feel like sometimes I get a little shy or awkward doing that type of stuff in front of other people. But because that was the whole point of today and we were all doing that, like everybody was off in a different corner, like recording their own stuff, getting their own content. It was just really cool. And it's cool to be around other creative people that like doing this type of stuff too. So yeah, it was a really good day, but it was a long day. So needless to say, at this point, I'm exhausted. And I was also standing and on my feet and moving around the whole time. So it feels like I just had a full day of work, basically. So I'm gonna just have a chill night. I'm not gonna do much else. All I feel like doing is washing my face and like watching a movie and then going to bed. You know what I mean? It's like mm -hmm. now knowing- There's like a kernel of something that- would... You would have known like many times earlier. We'll have some sort of like I do love Katie and I do love Walt, but those were people who were not really in that you did know about when in Miami, you guys weren't official to, that. to bring your side chick to your home. Like, mm -hmm. okay, like it, it's getting better. I've seen it's gotten a lot better. <laughs> Good morning. I've just been doing some cleaning while I was listening to the Call Her Daddy podcast. She was interviewing Ariana from Vanderpump Rules and they were talking about that whole like cheating scandal thing, which I've never watched a single episode of Vanderpump Rules. I couldn't even tell you who's on it, 
what the show is even about, like what the basic premise is, but I obviously have been hearing about this big cheating scandal. But it was just such a good episode, even if you have no idea who these people are, like I didn't because it's just really relatable if you've ever been cheated on or even if you haven't but if you've ever been in like a long-term relationship and especially now being single sometimes you know you feel lonely and you're like oh I just wish I had somebody I wish I was in a relationship again but then thinking back to like the reality of being in a relationship where you're just not happy i remembered how awful that feeling is i was like mm, no i'd rather just be by myself than in like an unhappy relationship or dating a pathological liar psycho who would cheat on me with my best friend like crazy that's what happened in their scandal so yeah cleans up the kitchen i have laundry going i am about to just steam mop the floor really quick and then I'm gonna get ready to go to the grocery store. I'm still using my Dirt Devil steam mop and I wanna show you guys, turning it on now, I wanna show you how fast it heats up. And this portion of the vlog is sponsored by Dirt Devil. Thank you so much to them for working with me again. So this just uses water and heat to clean your floors. Um, hard surfaces like vinyl, tile. There we go. So it kicks on and then you start to see the steam coming out through there. I just love it for my small spaces because most of my apartment is carpet and I only have this like tile flooring or laminate whatever it is in the kitchen and the bathroom but they're so small that it's like just a pain and not worth the hassle of filling up a bucket and using a traditional mop so I love this because I just plug it in heats up in a few seconds and then there we go less than two minutes my floor is clean i also like that it's not like super big and bulky so it doesn't take up a lot of space storing it because you know i do have a small apartment i don't have a lot of extra storage and it comes with machine washable cloths which i like too because it's not like you have you know these disposable cloths that you're throwing away each time so it's a little bit better for the environment as well. And it's more cost effective that way because you don't have to keep repurchasing anything. Once you buy the machine, you literally just fill it up with water. You don't even have to use any kind of special like cleaning solution. So if you guys wanna check out the Dirt Devil Steam Mop for yourself, I will have a link in the description. Thank you so much Dirt Devil for sponsoring this portion of the video. I also, actually my camera is propped up on it. I have the Dirt Devil air purifier as well that I have been using for the past few months and I love that thing also. I'll put a link to the air purifier as well if you're interested. Kitchen is all nice and clean. I'm gonna go get dressed and head to the grocery store. We'll do a little haul when I get back. I'm running low on pretty much everything. And even like the things that I don't always have to repurchase, like olive oil, rice, that kind of stuff. Salt. I'll see you when I get back. Yeah. I'm back. I'm gonna try to be quick because we got a lot here. Protein spaghetti, raspberries, which I am about to eat right now. Half and half croutons, mini ice cream sandwiches. I got these last time I went grocery shopping and they are like the perfect little treat to have at the end of the day. I got mussels. I'm gonna make a pasta with that spaghetti, sausage, egg and cheese, um, English muffin, breakfast sandwiches. Those have been helpful when I have to work at the salon early in the morning. I got pink. Himalayan salt to refill my salt grinder, minced garlic, Q-tips, body brush for in the shower, more olive oil. I also got um, 
couldn't think of the word floss i left it in the car though i got it specifically to keep in my side console i have a little bag in there that i put like a bunch of little emergency things i also got more plain salt black pepper peppercorns for my black pepper grinder to refill that mouthwash chicken bouillon cubes olive oil spray got more olipop the strawberry mm -hmm. vanilla this is the only flavor that i've had so far but it's so good then i got some diced and crushed tomatoes for that seafood pasta i'm gonna make small shells jasmine rice eggs i got more of those kodiak protein blueberry waffles these are actually really good needed more maple syrup as well cream cheese blueberry bagels celery lettuce asparagus cucumber red pepper onion and grape tomatoes it's a few hours later i just got back from the gym and i'm so excited because i got a bunch of packages i had a bath and body works coupon i used to be one of those people that would always have a whole bunch of bath and body works candles and i would load up on the wallflowers but i know everyone's been talking about how their stuff is really toxic so i've been trying to switch all of my home fragrance things to more natural non-toxic stuff so i hadn't ordered from them in a really long time but i had a coupon and they were having a sale on top of that and the love scent which i thought was done like i thought they had discontinued this scent but i think maybe they just don't have it in stores anymore but they do have some stuff online so i stocked up on a few body washes in this scent and then i also got a room spray in that same scent and then i got a few things from shein and listen i really try to not order from there often because i know the issues with that website and just with fast fashion in general so i really only order from there like maybe twice a year and i only will get staples and like things that i know i'm gonna keep in my wardrobe for a long time i'm not doing these big giant shein hauls every few weeks or anything like that and then just getting rid of the stuff like when i buy things it's only you know one or two things at a time and it's stuff that i keep and most of my bathing suits are all from shein because i just really like the fit of them and i like the styles that they have and they're just so affordable and they're actually really good quality. So I don't know. You can hate me for shopping on there. That's fine. Anyway, so I got another bathing suit. I really just love a strapless top. I think it's so flattering. And what I liked about this is that it ties up in the back so you can loosen or tighten it if you need to. And then it has the high-waisted bottoms. And I like that it's ribbed also. Like whenever I'm looking for two-piece bathing suits, I always look for high waist and that it's ribbed because if it's the smooth material, sometimes depending on the bathing suit, it can really show every little ripple and nook and cranny and it can be super unflattering. But ribbed material i feel like always just covers everything so nicely and i think i got this in a large i usually get bathing suits from shein in a large yeah then i got this denim skirt i had been wanting a long denim skirt for so long and i just couldn't find one that was like exactly the style that i wanted this one had really good reviews I got it in a medium and then lastly I got a pair of shoes because my birthday is coming up and I already have my dress planned out but I wanted a cute pair of shoes to go with it I wanted some strappy sandals with like a little bit of a heel but a low 
wide comfortable heels so that i could walk around in these downtown and just be out all night in them and be totally 100 percent comfortable right now it's a quarter to four so i'm gonna go shower and then get a little bit of computer work done tomorrow i have to be up kind of early because i have an opening shift at the salon doing front desk for a couple hours and then i have a highlight client coming in so i want to make sure that i go to bed pretty early tonight since I have to be up early in the morning and yeah I think that's everything I will see you either later or in the morning good morning I am about to leave for work here's my outfit these pants are super old they're from Uniqlo and this top I want to say is maybe forever 21 I've also had it for a while and then these sandals are from Target also kind of old we're gonna go makeup free i just put on some spf brow gel mascara and i just put my hair half up and that's about as much as i can muster up for this morning because it's 7 a.m i'm gonna grab one of these breakfast sandwiches that i got yesterday and a factor smoothie i'm gonna bring that to work I have to leave now. I'll try to get some clips of my client later. I think we're doing a balayage. I'll see you later. Hi. It is almost 4 15 i gotta put this camera down my shoulders and upper back uh, so sore i was just so tired today i don't know what it was because i went to bed really early last night but i had a really hard time getting up this morning and then the whole time i was at work i just felt so sleepy and just didn't really feel like being there um the weather is really gross too it's just been raining all day so that doesn't really help but my client was super super sweet she had virgin hair but it was just really really thick and heavy she had a lot of it she wanted to do a balayage something that was going to be super low maintenance she is one of those clients that realistically only wants to come in like a couple of times a year which i totally understand and she said she didn't want anything like too light um she wanted like sun kiss natural so i just did a bunch of like teasy lights basically all over um and i made sure to not let them get too light because the lighter the hair gets it's not going to hold the toner as well and also she said she didn't want that so i wanted to make sure that even after the toner fades the color that she's left with is still really pretty and it's going to complement her natural color really well and not like be too harsh of a contrast. And then we also did a haircut, cut a few inches off her length and added a whole bunch of layers and just debulked the shit out of her hair because like I said, it was so heavy and thick. Hair like that, ooh, it takes a toll on your shoulders and like having to lift the hair up and over direct to add all of the layers and then going back through and texturizing and blowing it out and all of that stuff it's like it is a freaking workout so needless to say oh this looks great i am exhausted and starving so i'm stacking on some raspberries right now i'm gonna make that seafood pasta for dinner the new season of the kardashians came out today so i'm gonna watch that and then I am now so invested in this Vanderpump Rules cheating scandal. <laughs> so I ended up, after watching the Call Her Daddy episode, I ended up watching the season 10 finale of the show where, you know, all of the stuff happens. And now the reunion came out today. So, you know I gotta watch that. So, I watched Kardashians and Vanderpump Rules. And I'm so excited. I've been looking forward to it all day. I'll show you that pasta later when I make it. Come on, it's a very simple question. Are you in love or are you not? 
Okay, I am starting dinner. I have a pot boiling that I'm gonna add the spaghetti to. I have my mussels steaming over here. And then this is the pot where I'm gonna make the sauce. So I drizzled some olive oil, chopped up garlic, and asparagus, added salt and pepper. So I'm just waiting for that to heat up. I'm gonna saute that. And then once the mussels are done, I'm going to take them out of the shell and then I'm gonna put them in here. And then I'm gonna add this entire can of crushed tomatoes. This is the pasta I'm using. And then these are the mussels. I just got them from Walmart. I just remembered that I have shrimp too that I could add. I'm gonna do that. Here's how it looks. Do a little taste test. So good. I got another package in the mail. Oh, and by the way, hi, good morning. It's Friday. I look crazy. I literally just got up, took Benny out really quick, checked the mail, and uh, here we are. You know how when I was unboxing the Bath and Body Works stuff, I was saying how I've been trying to like buy better non-toxic stuff for my house. So I had discovered Eco Candle Company through my salon actually. She has a little like boutique area at the front of the salon where she sells little like accessories and different like cutesy things and she sells these reed diffusers and they smell so good and they're so strong which i feel like usually reed diffusers they don't really like fill the room you can only usually smell them if you're like up close to it but these really do make the entire space smell amazing um and they last a really long time and what i love is that it's a small company and all their stuff is non-toxic and they have a bunch of different scents so i got some refills for the ones that i currently have in the beach house scent and then i got another one in a scent that i have never tried before but it's like their number one best-selling scent it's called lovely so like how could that be bad cute i like how they look too just for decor so I'm gonna put this one in my bathroom and then the beach house ones I'm gonna have scattered throughout my main living space. It's another rainy gloomy day. It really sucks because it's actually Memorial Day weekend. I didn't even realize it's really crazy to me that may is already almost over but yeah it's supposed to rain for the next like four days in a row which on one hand kind of sucks like i definitely feel bad for everybody that had memorial weekend plans but on the other hand i'm like mm, it's a nice excuse for me to just stay home and not feel guilty about it i just have a lot of editing and computer work stuff to do today and then at two o'clock i have a botox appointment um getting my forehead touched up because it has worn off at this point and it's really just preventatively i only get it like right here in the top of my forehead just because i do get those lines which is totally natural and normal i mean not saying if you have forehead lines that you need to get botox by any means but i just really like the look of a nice tight forehead and i actually want to ask her when I go in for my Botox appointment today I want to ask her about getting my top lip dissolved because my filler has migrated and I know people love to point it out in my videos but it's like it is what it is I think when I first started getting filler back in 2018 I loved it and I went like very subtle and natural and just a little bit and then I just got really addicted to it and every time i was going we were trying a different type of filler and different type of like placement and shape and i think that it was just like i was doing too much in too short of a time period so it has migrated and i've been trying to just like leave it be let it go let it just kind of dissolve naturally and it has quite a bit 
um, but still like you can see it goes like up above my natural lip line and it creates a weird shadow that like looks like a mustache kind of I've had filler dissolved before I mean like I said I've been getting it for a long time so it's been a whole journey and uh, it hurts but it's worth it if she has time I would love for her to just dissolve the top lip and then maybe next week go back in and get it redone but very tastefully like just because I love having filler I really do I feel like when I look back at old pictures like b before I ever got any filler I feel like my face just looks weird like my mouth looks so small in proportion to everything else because I feel like I have you know like bigger cheeks and bigger eyes and it just like the bigger lips I feel like are more proportionate to the rest of my facial features so I love having it and especially when I put on like lip products and stuff I just really like having like a more defined shape and all of that but I just want them to look better so yeah I'm doing that and then I'm gonna go work out at some point but that's really all that I have on the agenda for today my lip feels so numb and weird and it feels huge like my top lip they don't look any different yet it might even look bigger right now because she injected the stuff that dissolves it so obviously you're filling it up with fluid and then it takes a few hours to like eat away and dissolve the filler so within the next 24 hours my top lip is gonna just slowly shrink down and all that filler is gonna go away she said my bottom lip looks great so she's not doing anything to that we're gonna leave that be um i got my botox as well and then in about a week i'm gonna come back and we're gonna redo the filler just on the top and then slightly touch up the bottom just to like even it out i'm excited Good morning, it's the next day. I wanted to show you how the lips are looking. It hasn't been a full 24 hours, so there's still a little bit in there. Like you can still see that definition right there. But she said that when you have been doing filler for a long time and you have a lot of it built up, and especially I had a lot of different types that I had done throughout the years. Sometimes it can take two sessions of dissolving. So yeah, she said if in a couple of days it still looks like there is some filler in the top lip to go back, we'll do a second session of dissolving. Getting filler dissolved isn't the most fun thing ever. It burns. It feels like putting alcohol on a cut. I do love though that I have no bruising. That's really exciting because usually when I get filler and I'm getting something injected, my lips bruise like crazy, but I really have no bruising. I'm hoping that means that when I go and get the filler redone, I also won't have any bruising then because I'm going to be doing it the week of my birthday and um, I really don't want to have <laughs> a bruised lip for that. And by the way, for the Botox and filler, I've been going to Lisa at Beauty and the Beach. She's in Wrightsville Beach. I will have her information in the description. That's also the same place where I've been going to get my laser treatments on my breast lift scar. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. It's Saturday morning. I'm about to get ready to go work at the salon and I'm gonna start a brand new vlog. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check the link to the Dirt Devil Steam Mop in the description. And I'll see you really soon in my next video. Bye.